Okay, in the previous video, we have discussed about basic terminology related to screw thread metrology. Now, uh, we have discussed about major diameter, minor diameter, mean diameter, pitch, and uh, thread angle. Now, in succeeding videos, we will be discussing now how to do measurement of these all features after manufacturing of screw thread. So in today's video, in this video, we will be discussing about how to me measure major diameter and minor diameter for internal and external threads. So the very first slide is measurement of major diameter for external thread. So for measurement of major diameter of external thread, generally we are using two setups. One is simple hand micrometer, which we are frequently used for measurement of any external feature. And second is bench micrometer. So suppose this, if you see this image, then in this image, we can say this is external thread. So we want to measure major diameter. So here major diameter is small d. We want to measure this small d diameter. So very first is hand micrometer. If you're using hand micrometer, then you need to make contact of this side twist with the end width and this side twist with the uh, spindle. And then you need to take reading on the hand micrometer. But you get more variation or the precision of hand micrometer is less compared to bench micrometer. Because in batch micrometer, we are using uh, centers and all. So if you look, this is called as a batch micrometer. So in batch micrometer, again, it is working on micrometer principle. On this side, we are having micrometer heat. Then this is spindle. And this is called as an anvil. Of, uh, this anvil is again moved to and fro. It is not fixed. It is not fixed it can move and this movement is traced by this fiducial indicator. Now the purpose of fiducial indicator here is to uh, is to control contact pressure error. Like in case of simple hand micrometer we are using the chip mechanism. Similarly here in case of bench micrometer to control that contact pressure Fiducial indicator is used. So here you can see in fiducial indicator we are having one pointer and on this side we are having graduation which indicates contact pressure. Okay, so how now we need to do measurement? You need to arrange this external screw such that this axis of external screw is perpendicular to the axis of anvils of micrometer. So you have to hold this by hand the screw by hand and then after you need to close this micrometer head. So as you close this micrometer head, then due to contact pressure or due to when the contact is made between screw faces, screw crest and both the anvils, then some pressure will be indicated on this fiducial indicator. That pressure you need to maintain C. And on this side, on this micrometer head, now you can get the reading. So that will give you external diameter of screw. And external diameter for external screw, that is major diameter. Okay, so this is how you can do measurement. But here, we could not understand what is the basic purpose of fiducial indicator. So to understand that, you can generally, we are using two-step methodology in screw, uh, screw metrology, what we are doing actually, uh, we are using actually gauging method, we are using comparative method in screw thread metrology. What we are doing, if you see here, first of all, we are using hand micrometer or batch micrometer on simple uh, setting cylinder. Now setting cylinder is nothing but plug gauge, which we have seen in uh, limit fits and problems. So plug gauge, is nothing but cylinder with fixed dimension. So this D1 is the cylinder whose diameter is very close to the major diameter of external thread. So you have to select any cylinder 
whose diameter is close to major diameter of external screw and that diameter is known to us so that is d1 but this known cylinder we are measuring using our micrometer or batch micrometer and we we are reading it then r1 is a reading of micrometer on setting cylinder this setting cylinder standard reference cylinder clear so that is r1 now what we are doing we are replacing setting cylinder by unknown screw on hand micrometer or batch micrometer and then again we are reading micrometer then r2 is reading of micrometer on thread and then we are using this relation major diameter is equals to d1 plus r2 minus r1 now the question is why we are following this lengthy procedure the purpose is see this r2 and r1 they are measured value by micrometer so if your micrometer is having any error zero error or hysteresis error then when both the measured value you are taking difference between both the measured value then that error will be removed clear so because we are taking difference so that error will be removed and for that reason we are using this procedure this lengthy procedure clear so for example let us take one example uh, suppose major diameter of external thread is 50 mm you are using a uh, standard setting cylinder is also of 50 mm let's take 50 mm only both are exactly same external diameter of screw and measured uh, uh, that measuring cylinder diameter is also 50 both are 50 now this 50 cylinder we are measuring by micrometer and suppose reading we are getting 51 okay so actual dimension is 50 but reading is 51 then how much error is present error is of 1 mm positive 1 mm now we are measuring unknown thread using same micrometer and that reading is r2 and let's take that reading as a 52 mm that reading comes 52 mm so now let's put all the values in equation setting cylinder is exactly equals to our required diameter that is 50 so 50 plus 52 minus 51 now 52 minus 51 then difference is of 1 mm and that 51 means 1 mm error is already removed here by taking difference because 52 minus 51 so we are getting plus 1 and that is now added in d1 which is 50 so 50 plus 1 so actual diameter of manufactured or measured thread is 51 mm okay so in this way we are doing measurement and in both the steps means when you are taking reading r1 and r2 you are you are keeping same contact pressure in this fiducial indicator so contact pressure remains same in both the reading so there would not be any contact pressure error in the reading and that and that is what the purpose of fiducial indicator so hand micrometer and batch micrometer both are same but uh, both are having same working principle but this in case of hand micrometer you need to hold micrometer in your one hand and screw on the other hand so more degree of freedom more possibilities of variation in the reading but in case of bench micrometer this entire structure is fixed now your 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 one end uh, so this structure is fixed and in the other hand you are holding screw so only screw is having free degree of freedom degree of freedom of screw are free so variation would be less compared to hand micrometer so batch micrometer can give you more precision compared to hand micrometer okay so this is what we can do major diameter measurement in external thread now measurement of minor diameter of external thread so for this purpose we are using special v pieces which are which are actually 
actually uh, connected to this anvils those vpcs they are attached to this anvils or hand micrometers so instead of cylindrical end on anvils you will be having sharp ends so those sharp ends they make contact at the root of screw and you know what is minor diameter of external tray it is root to root distance clear yeah? so using this v tips v tips we are making contact up to the root of tray and then we are following same procedure which we followed previously in measurement of major diameter but now here we have changed tips of anvils instead of cylindrical tips now we are having pointed tips v tips clear yeah? so when you are selecting v tips that v angle of tip should be less than this flank angle or the thread angle so that it can directly make it, uh, it it can make contact at the root only not at the flanks of thread so that is a, uh, one important point second method is you can use projector or microscope you can put this thread on a table of microscope and then after you can take image using microscope and then you can do measurement clear yeah? again we are following same procedure as i told you we are using one measuring cylinder uh, one uh, setting cylinder the setting cylinder is having diameter close to the minor diameter of external thread so first on uh, setting cylinder whose diameter is d we are measuring that diameter using micrometer that reading is r1 and now this setting cylinder is replaced by screw actual screw and that reading by same micrometer is r2 and then we are using the uh, the previous equation d plus r2 minus r1 okay so this is how you can do minor diameter measurement for the external threads this is what the setup of base micrometer you can see here uh, these are the two centers these are the two centers uh, on floating carriage micrometer so slightly change in floating carriage micrometer hand micrometer is having all degree of freedom free in batch micrometer you are having rigid setup and now in floating carriage mic uh, floating carriage uh, micrometer it is similar to the batch micrometer but now here two additional centers are given so you need not to hold screw in your hand you need to hold this screw in centers and these two centers line of action of these two centers they are exactly perpendicular to line of action of anvils of micrometer so here again we have fiducial indicator this is micrometer a so you make contact uh, so these two tips of and uh, these two anvil they are attached with v tips okay so this is what the setup of floating carriage micrometer and actual floating carriage micrometer look like this so uh, this is your thimble spindle you can see here uh, sorry this is your thimble uh, and these are the spindles and these are the two centers so in these two centers we have clamped this screw external screw and on this side we are having fiducial indicator to maintain same contact pressure uh, in r1 reading and in r2 reading okay so this is how we can do major and minor diameter measurement for external thread now same for uh, internal thread how to measure minor diameter of internal thread so two indirect methods are there because it is very difficult to uh, do measurement in internal thread because they are not visible actually so you cannot measure it directly so there are few indirect methods in that two indirect methods for uh, minor diameter measurement for internal thread using taper parallels and using rollers taper parallel is good for diameter below 200 mm 
and roller method is good for diameter below 20 mm so here you can see this is taper roller method uh, the cut section is given we are having two two tapers two conical taper roll which are having identical taper angle and then this this cut section is of internal thread now minor diameter of internal thread means root to root distance so this distance so what we are doing as it is not possible to measure internal dimension using micrometers then what we are doing we are inserting these two similar tapers in opposite way then when both make contact then we get a firm contact between both the taper rollers and this crest of uh, the root of internal uh, three and then after we measure outside diameters of both the tapers using micrometer only so in this way we can do measurement of minor diameter so this is one method second method is uh, this is top view uh, see we have arranged this uh, we have changed orientation of this internal three we have kept it now vertical and then after we are we are placing two identical pins two identical cylindrical rollers whose diameter is same and then we insert these two and then after uh, we are inserting slip gauges in between these two pins we are selecting proper combination of slip gauges such that you get a positive contact in all these three and now here you can see this full circle is major diameter uh, sorry this full circle that is minor diameter of internal thread this dotted circle is indicating uh, this this crest portion of internal thread so this dotted circle that is indicating major diameter of internal thread okay so now it is already from this diagram we can say what is the external uh, 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 what is the minor diameter of internal thread using rollers we know diameter of both the rollers they are same so 2 times d plus h h is slip gauge combination so in this way we can do measurement of minor diameter for internal threads okay so these are the two techniques for minor diameter now measurement of major diameter of internal thread is very difficult it's an internal uh, cavity so what we are doing here uh, two views of setup are given we are, we are preparing casting we are making cast of internal thread what we are doing suppose this is our specimen so that is that is hold between two wooden blocks two wooden centers so this is front view and this is side view of same arrangement and this is the internal thread and now this much portion is blank from there we are we are uh, adding plaster of paris or wax material molten wax material and then we allow it to solidify then after solidification we remove these two wooden blocks and then after this uh, this solidify uh, uh, this solidify uh, mold of plaster of paris that will lift up and then we take it out so ultimately what we have done here we we got replica of internal thread on this plaster of paris or wax material and now what we have done this internal feature is produced on uh, produced as an external feature and that we have taken out and then after now we can do any measurement whatever we want to do even we can also measure a uh, minor diameter on on replica of internal thread so you need, you need not to follow even this procedure this previous procedure because once you get replica of your internal thread then after you can do any measurement on the that that wax or that uh, plaster of paris mold so this is how you can do major diameter measurement in internal thread so we keep up to this in next video i'll be explaining about how to measure effective diameter of external thread so again there we have some indirect methods okay so i hope this video will be helpful to you